there is honestly nothing more that I hate than f taking bloody Primark haul thumbnails. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hi guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're doing a monthly Primark haul. What is new? If you are new over here, I do these every single month, so if you do enjoy some shopping with me videos and haul videos from Primark, then I would definitely subscribe, just saying. <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit harsh on Primark last month or a couple of weeks ago and was saying that they didn't really have very many nice things in. They have upped their game, okay? The amount of autumn winter pieces in at the moment, I am... <sighs> We're living, breathing, dying and resurrecting for all of this autumn winter stuff. Probably a slight exaggeration and there is a hair stuck to my face and it's really annoying. Ugh. Um... But yeah, going to show you what I got. I did actually film a what's new in Primark, so you can kind of see from the comfort of your home some of the new pieces that are in. I'll leave that link down below if you do want to give that a watch. They're one of my favourite things to watch at the moment, and I really enjoyed filming it, so I'm probably going to do one next month as well. But Let's get on into everything that I bought. So we're going to start off with something that did actually feature in the Come Shopping With Me video. This is probably one of my favourite things. Um, this is a black and white extra small little like cardigan. I want to call it a coat. It's more of a jacket, but it's this knitted kind of material with black and white and grey checks. I've seen this print everywhere, so I feel like this is going to be like a really popular one for autumn and winter. You guys know how I feel about some grey and some black and some white too. We love monochrome. So this one was a size extra small, which is a 6 to 8. It was £18. It's so Funny. warm, so soft. I wish you could feel it. Like, literally, he's given my dog a run for his money because this is soft. Yeah, this is beautiful. I feel like this will really dress up any kind of outfit that you wear on too. I'm wearing this with a pair of boots. Dream combination. It's a vibe. It's a look. Can't wait to get this one on. Next piece was, of course, going to be a little jumper. I say little, it's actually oversized. This is one of those wool mix jumpers. So it's got all the different colours of wool and fabric and stuff in here. And I think it's so beautiful. So you've got little flecks of like blue and orange and red and yellow. And it's just gorgeous. And then the actual jumper is kind of like a pale pink and cream. I think I saw Ellie Darby with this in her haul. I could be wrong. Or maybe it was a cum shop with me and she pointed it out. But I definitely saw it on someone's YouTube video. And I was like, oh my god, I need that. So this one was £13. It's in a blush colour. And it's a size 6 to 8. But it is kind of oversized it has a nice fitted little like neckline and then the arms are kind of baggy but with a cuffed wrist like sleeve bit i love this i think this is so gorgeous again it's really really soft it's gonna keep you kind of warm it's very cozy it's probably not gonna be the warmest jumper ever but i think this would look so nice with a pair of ripped jeans and just like chunky trainers or again boots Okay, at this point, my lash is really just hanging on for dear life, and we're just going to pretend that um, we haven't noticed it, and that I haven't mentioned it, and that it's all good, and that I'm not shit at applying fake lashes. Next up, what have we got? another jumper of course so this jumper is in a extra small and it's a size 8 both me and my best friend had to buy one of these we both clocked eyes on it we were looking at another item of clothing we saw it and we both ran we sprinted I don't sprint for anything but this jumper I sprinted for don't know why I like it so much it's just kind of got that like sports lounge casual kind of vibe so it's kind of like a cropped jumper, although this isn't severely cropped or anything. So it's got pink panelling down one side of the arm with the little cuffed um, wrist. Pink down the other side. It's then got this gorgeous black panelling at the top. Is it even panelling? I feel like that's a really hard word to say. Panelling. 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 And on there it just says always. Um, I think this is beautiful. And then obviously we've got this stone colour on the rest of it. I love this for just like every day with a pair of trackies or leggings. Just think this would be so nice. And £8, you really can't go wrong. So yeah.
I'm not actually too sure why I bought this, but I do really like it. So it's, I got it from the men's section. And it's this oversized white hoodie, which is so risky for someone that wears foundation and fake tan on a weekly basis. Um, oh my god, it's got stains on it already, but I don't think they were from me. That's really annoying. Okay, so anyway, it's this huge cream jumper with the little PlayStation logo. It says PlayStation down the side in a huge text. This is the softest, stretchiest jumper I have ever felt. Like, honestly, oh inside is so soft now i'm sorry but if you are in primark whether you want to pick this up or not give it a stroke on the inside absolutely unreal but yeah so i picked this one up from the men's section this was 12 pounds which i think is fab and i got it in a medium hence the oversized kind of vibe so i just liked the look of this i don't play games however my boyfriend is a gaming streamer and youtuber so i Put it all I put two and two together and I was like, I'm gonna get a PlayStation jumper. But um, yeah, no, I'd love to pretend that I was doing it to be a supportive girlfriend, but really, Primark men's clothes are where it is at. The comfiest jumpers and joggers. Get yourself down there, girls and boys. Also, courtesy of Primark men's section, I got this graphic tee, which, oh my god, I am obsessed with. So it's this little NASA space one. I think they did this in like a white or a grey, and Molly really liked it, and we were both, we were both kind of like debating on it, but I went for black, because I feel like black's a little bit safer. So this one is £9. It also says NASA X Primark on here, so I'm guessing they've kind of come out with like a whole space range. Kind of cool, I guess. So yeah, it looks like this. I got it oversized because I feel like you can crop it, you can wear it long, you can tuck it into things. Love that kind of vibe. I'll probably pair this with a pair of leather trousers or crop it and wear it with some really comfy joggers. I feel like £9 is such a good price for this. And yeah, this is just what it looks like. We've got the little red detailed writing and uh, love it. Again, I feel like the clothes in the men's section are so much softer than the women's. Um... 10 out of 10 recommend. We then have this little contraption, which I had the hardest time trying to explain in my cum shop with me what this was, and I don't know why. It's like any brain cells that I did have just like, they just disappeared. Black knitted jumper. So it's got kind of like a high neck. High necks freak me out a little bit just because the feeling of being restricted, like as Gemma Collins would say, I'm claustrophobic Darren. That's me in like high neck jumpers. Oh my God, it's actually like, making my neck hurt things we do for fashion but it has cut out shoulders so it's like a cold shoulder kind of jumper with these arms and then like super fitted ooh, at the wrist i'm wow i'm obsessed with this i think it's so cool like the fact it is an off the shoulder like open shoulder jumper so cute. also means that you can wear it like multiple seasons so i got this in a two extra small which is a four to which is a four to six, which, do you know what guys, like I'm an eight everywhere else, but I really feel like Primark sizes were looking big when I went in there. So I was massively having to size down. This is 13 pounds, feels really nice quality, stretchy, again, it's black, can't go wrong. And I feel like the fact that it's got cut out shoulders kind of makes it a bit different from your regular, usual knitted jumper. And we then have this gorge little teddy bear cropped jumper. Did you really go to Primark if you didn't pick this one up? I have seen so many people with this in their hauls. So again, this is a size six to eight. This was only 10 pounds and this is the softest jumper ever. So it's that gorgeous kind of like beige brownie color. This is what the ends of the jumper look like. And yeah, it's just super soft and cuddly. I think this will be really nice for just like a chill day. Again, probably with some leggings or just light wash jeans. This could look really cute. I did also pick up a scarf I have wanted. I don't know what it was, but I walked past this scarf about six times in Primark and I was like, I need this. It's only four pounds. It is a huge scarf, which is perfect because you can wrap it around many times, style it how you want. And it's very similar to that um, 
jacket that I showed you where it's kind of got like the grey, the black and the white or like cream checkered kind of print. They've got so many cute scarves in there. I'm definitely going to get some more but I thought as we're only in September and I'm probably not going to wear this for a while I should hold back but I had to get this one. It is so soft and beautiful and I honestly cannot wait for scarf weather. She only went and picked up a little pom-pom hat as well. This is giving me like serious throwback vibes to all of my Primark hauls that I did towards the end of last year. I had loads of these. These are literally so cheap. They are £3. I'm actually going on like a little trip to Poland at the beginning of December and I feel like these are gonna look so cute in Instagram pictures and stuff because I know it's gonna be freezing. I'm always like I'm never sure if hats suit me. I'm really trying to make this suit me. It's actually embarrassing. Like you just feel like I'm wearing a condom on my head. This is not acceptable. Okay, next up, little tradition. Most times that I go into Primark, I end up getting a new makeup bag or accessories bag. I don't know why I need a new one on a monthly basis, but something just happens and they just go so gross that I just need a new one. So I feel like tartan and like check and everything is really coming into fashion, like I said. So I thought this one was beautiful. I feel like the ring light is kind of gonna blind you all, but it's this gorgeous like pink, orange and teal blue color wash bag or makeup bag it was four pounds it is absolutely huge and it's i love that it's kind of see-through this is perfect for like when you put items in a suitcase and she stuff. went and got the most bougie bloody slide on slippers that i could find these are cute these were only four pounds they're in a size medium so it fits like a five to six and they are just the softest most coziest little slider slippers so they've got this cream fur and then they've got this gold detailing around it i'm just obsessed i think these are so cool like just walking around your house in these is oh i don't know i just thought they were absolutely sick um they had so many different colors of these so i'm definitely going to go back and get more usually i'm like a normal slipper this is just getting weird this whole video is just such a mess this is honestly what happens when you film after midnight um but yeah got my little regular slipper here toes are covered but sometimes we're just gonna let the toes out I then i've got this little three pack of more autumnal colored ones these were two pounds so you've got a light pink you've got this gorgeous like burnt kind of orange coppery colored one and then this light brown they're all silky they're all so beautiful i only went and picked up the biggest like i don't even think you can see how big this is mug in the most gorgeous purpley maroony wine kind of color with it's got a gold kind of rim so beautiful it's got a really pretty pattern on it as well i don't know how we're going to be able to see it but this is oh, this is huge and this is hot chocolate material i cannot wait for the next time i film a video to fill this up with hot chocolate and just sit here and drink it it is gorgeous they had some in a bluey color as well which i really liked but i thought we'd stick to the autumn brand and <laughs> go with these um this was £4.50 which I think is so good for such a large I'm about to say a word that might scare some of you guys but I picked up a bloody Christmas candle so this is the nutmeg and caramel scented candle it comes packaged so beautifully in like a little Christmas cracker so this is £3.50 and I think this would be so cute for like a stocking filler or like a little gift to go in a Christmas hamper or something because it just you don't have to wrap it up but it looks so beautiful I can smell it through the packaging and it is insane. I'm going to hold off burning it um, until at least the end of October. But I had to pick it up whilst I saw it because there was only a few of them on the shelf. Um, but yeah, very, very cute and smells incredible. This next purchase was bought in a moment of weakness. Um, it's kind of tacky, but it's cute and I really, really like it. It's a little mug and it's got dogs all on it. I can't. It's... I saw all of the dogs look cute on here, but I saw the little Dalmatian. Oh my god, wait, is that a Westie? Oh, well, I saw, yeah, I saw the little Dalmatian and I was like, oh, it looks like Moomin. Um, very cute, £2.50. Gonna have a cup of tea in my dog mug. Crazy dog woman. Yes, yes. Yes, I then am. picked up two little makeup bits. So I decided to try the Ultra Longwear Concealer. Um, this is the My Perfect Colour one. So this is in the shade Nude. I wasn't sure which one to pick up, but I thought this looked kind of... Because I like my concealer to cover, but brighten. So I feel like this will do quite a lot of brightening. So this was £2.50. 
and yeah it looks like quite a big tube haven't even opened it yet can't wait to use it i'm sure if i end up loving it you guys will hear all about it in future videos or on my instagram stories or something then i just got another primark lip liner these are a pound so i'm obsessed with buying one every time i go in it's like a tradition so this is the foxy nude and yeah it's just a gorgeous brownie pinky nude what's new then i ended up i don't know why i keep doing this i really need like an intervention i picked up a four pack of hair clips i'm this needs to stop okay i've got a basket full of hair clips and i promise you i've worn them no more than twice because i put them in and then i'm like oh my god they don't suit me i look like i'm five so i really just it needs to stop to be honest but for four clips they were two pounds and they're all these really gorgeous little pearly ones I really liked the one on the bottom. I thought this was very pretty. So yeah, let's... Here's to trying to make hair clips work. I then picked up a couple of pairs of the fluffy, cosy socks. Um, each pair... Oh, for this one, you get two pairs and it's £1.80. And then you get two pairs in this one and it's £2. Not really sure how they priced that, but I'm not mad. Because either way, they are both so comfy. I live in these from about September through to like February. So... Uh, go and hook yourself up with some of these very soft and then it just got some face cloths so you get three in here for two pound fifty which i think is so good they're just this really pretty gray color not gray like bath towels and hand towels and that kind of thing so i just thought i'd get some of these because i needed some new ones i also got a two pack of makeup remover mitts these were two pounds now i love the reusable makeup mitts that i usually get these ones look fluffy so i had to pick them up to so get a pink one and a cream one and yeah i'm intrigued because they look so fluffy um kind of don't want to get them dirty but i love these reusable ones so much like i will preach it for as long as possible these are so much better than makeup wipes and then last but not least i just got this little pouch to i think it's a pencil case yeah it is it's a two pound fifty pencil case i just picked this up to put like some random bits in my handbag because everything's kind of just like floating around loose in there at the moment so i can put like some hair ties some change, some pens, that kind of thing in here. And I just thought it was a really cute little design. So guys, that was everything in today's Primark haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new here. Don't forget to check the description box to head over to my Instagram and follow me over there. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.